throughout the course of the DNC chair race, I went from enthusiastically supporting Keith Ellison to feeling more ambivalent towards him, and this is because I feel like he's wavering on some of his core issues, and he's not really willing to admit the fact that the DNC did in fact disenfranchise progressives in 2016. Now, the reason why I want the DNC to admit that they did rig the primary against Bernie and disenfranchise progressives is because if they continue to pretend that it didn't happen, if there's no accountability, then that's not going to help me trust the DNC. That's not going to assure me that they're not going to do this again in 2018 and 2020. So at this point, or up until this point, there hasn't been a single DNC chair candidate that's been willing to actually speak out about this. There is, however, a DNC chair candidate that's been in the race for quite some time that none of us really knew about until recently. So his name is Sam Ronan, and Sam Ronan didn't choose to stick his head in the sand and run away from the DNC's previous fraudulent actions against their own voters. He actually chose to confront it head on. Well, I gotta say, Keith Ellison makes a very strong argument, and for the right reasons. We do need to reach out together. We do need to build those bridges because they were burned and they were burned deliberately. Because so many of those people that are disenfranchised thought the primaries were rigged against them and their candidates. And the fact of the matter is, it's true. The Democratic Party has not been open to outsiders and new members in our entire history. And if we want to bring those people back, we need to prove to them that we're willing to open the doors. Secondly, and most importantly, we have to have accountability. If we're going to be Democrats, if we're going to be congressional leaders, if we're going to be secretaries of labor, and if we're going to be mayors, and we're going to call ourselves Democrats, we damn well better own up to that. Because right now, we have senators, we got congressmen who called themselves Democrats, who are rubber stamping Trump cabinet appointees. And that is unacceptable. Now, I might not have enough cloud or all these different, you know, all these different uh, people supporting me. But what I do have, thank you, Keith, <laughs> Team Keith, <laughs> Team Ronan. What I do have is conviction. I was in the military too. I know what a good leader looks like. And I know that it's easy to say that we will fight against the opposition. Everybody in this room is and has been doing that. That goes without saying. But the hard part, the truth, the reality is that we messed up as a party. We need to own that, and we need to hold our fellow Democrats responsible. As your DNC chairman, that's exactly what I would do. I would offer those, those olive branches. I would build those bridges. I would give millennials, progressives, and Berniecrats the opportunities, the resources, and the tools to succeed, but I would also hold our members accountable. Because if we don't, we lose what little credibility we have left, and that is the fight we must win. So that two minute clip there immediately sold me, just hands down. I mean, that was, that was phenomenal. I want to read you the quote that he said there that I think was just great. He said, we messed up as a party and we need to own that and we need to hold our fellow Democrats responsible. And this is exactly right. If there's no accountability, then the future DNC chair is going to do exactly what Debbie and Donna did in 2016. And we can't have that. And this is precisely why I've been so vocal about wanting the DNC chair candidates to speak out against the way that Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Donna Brazil undermined the campaign of Bernie Sanders and violated their own charter. So he said precisely what I've been wanting a DNC chair candidate to say. Now the question is, who the hell is Sam Ronan? Because up until this week, I haven't heard a single thing about him. So Sam Ronan is an immigrant originally born in Germany that moved to Lancaster, Ohio uh, when he was six. Now, he's a veteran that currently serves in the United States Air Force Reserves, and he's just 27 years old. And this is a promise that I really like. He says, Sam will fight for you because people first and politics second. That is the bottom line. Now, let's be honest here. Time is running out. I like Sam Ronan, and I want him to be the DNC chair. I think he's a superior candidate in comparison with Keith Ellison. But, you know, we only have a couple of weeks left. Uh, the election takes place between uh, February 23rd and 26th. 
So if we actually want Sam Ronan to be the chair, we've got to act quickly. So there's a couple of things that you can do. So first of all, you can actually call the DNC. That's the first thing you need to do uh, at 202-863-8000. And what you can do is visit the link in the description box, which is a list that shows you who your DNC state representative is. So I want you to make two calls, one to the national DNC headquarters, because if we overwhelm them with calls and just politely let them know that we left the party and we're only willing to come back if Sam Ronan is the DNC chair. I think that if they get an abundance of calls all at once, well, that will send a huge message to, to them. And also, if you call the DNC representative that is supposed to represent you, then that can also have a huge uh, impact. Grassroots activism works. So look, Make the call if you want Sam Ronan to be the DNC chair. I'm going to go ahead and call the national DNC. Um, it is late, so I'm going to have to leave a message to both because I usually film pretty late. Uh, but, you know, you can say what I'm saying or you can say something different. Um, really, it's up to you. But, I mean, I would just communicate to them what you really feel. You want Sam Ronan to be the DNC chair. So this is the national DNC. Thank you for contacting the Democratic National Committee. Send us an email at info at democrats.org or visit our website at democrats.org. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, simply hang up or press pound for further options. Hi, my name is Mike Figueredo. I'm a lifelong Democrat, and I wanted to call to encourage anyone and everyone at the DNC to vote for Sam Ronan to be the next DNC chair. That's Sam Ronan. He's a progressive, and, you know, after the 2016 primary and how Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Donna Brazile disenfranchised progressives, I actually left the party. I registered as an independent. And I'm not willing to come back to the party unless there's someone like Sam Ronan as the DNC chair. So if you want to bring back progressives and independents, uh, I would really want to strongly encourage you to support the uh, chairmanship of Sam Ronan. Thank you. Now, I'm also going to call uh, my representative in Oregon, in Portland. Uh, I'm probably going to have to leave him a message because, again, this is uh, almost 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. And yes, it is legal for me to record phone calls in Oregon. <laughs> At the tone, please record your message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, Mr. Dixon. My name is Mike Figueredo. I'm a progressive, and I wanted to encourage you to vote for Sam Ronan to be the DNC chair uh, at the upcoming DNC chair election, because I actually left the party after being a lifelong Democrat when I saw how Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Donna Brazil disenfranchised progressives in 2016. So really, the only way that I'm willing to come back to the party and re-register as a Democrat, potentially, is if the DNC elects Sam Ronan as the next DNC chair. So please, I would really encourage you to uh, represent me as your constituents, uh, as your constituent, and everyone else from Portland who supports Bernie enthusiastically, uh, to support someone who is a true progressive, and that is Sam Ronan. So please vote for Sam Ronan. Thank you. So, I mean, look, you don't have to say everything that I'm saying. You can use that as a template if you want, but I don't want you to be nervous. You, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, just basically communicate to them how you feel that you want Sam Ronan to be the DNC chair if you really do believe that uh, you think he should be the chair. So, uh, you know, let's do it. I, I'm enthusiastic about Sam Ronan, and I think that he's showing that he has what it takes to actually rebuild the trust that the DNC lost. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.